हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंजल स्टॉक शो इन द सीरीज ऑफ ऑनलाइन कंप्यूटर क्लासेस ऑफ सी प्रोग्रामिंग टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज लूप्स इन सी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज विद प्रोग्राम्स सो बिफोर टू स्टार्ट दिस वंडरफुल एंड इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर ऑल सी एंड आई स्टूडेंट्स आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू इफ यू आर न्यू एट अवर यूट्यूब चैनल एंजल स्टॉक शो एंड टिल नाउ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल एंजल स्टॉक शो Please subscribe it and press bell icon for notification of new educational, technical, and motivational videos. So now let's start our video and discuss loops. So in this first slide, we will discuss about loops definition. Looping in C can be defined as repeating the same process multiple times until an specific condition occurs. Friends, we have three types of loops. in c programming language the first one is for loop second one is while loop and the third one is do while loop friends do you know why do programmers use loops in c programming and what is the advantage of loops in c we will discuss one by one the advantage of loops in c language the first one is loops provide concepts of code reusability it means there is no need to write code again and again in the programs we can reuse our code once we write in the program and the second one is through loops we can use data structure very efficiently these are the advantages of loops so we use in c programming now one by one we will discuss all three loops the first one is for loop friends the for loop is used in condition where we need to execute some part of the code until the given condition is satisfied it is better to use for loop if the number of iteration is known in advance the syntax of for loop is given below this is the syntax of for loop here we can see that for is the keyword is the loop and in this expression we are writing three main conditions the first one is initialization like i is equal to 0 i is equal to 1 j is equal to 0 or j is equal to 1 what variable you want to initialize in the loop you can write over here the condition will be written over here like i is less than equal to 10 or j is less than or equal to 5 whatever condition you are applying and these are the increment or decrement operator and in this area of the code we will write the code which will be executed when this condition will be satisfied now the program of for loop in this slide we have written one program of for loop this is header file which we are using in the for loop stdio.h we are using main function and inside the main function we are initializing i is equal to 0 this is the for loop body where we are initializing i is equal to 0 i is less than or equal to 6 or i plus plus it means we are initializing i is equal to when i will be execute when it will be go up to 6 number and after one by one it will be increment its value in the for loop body we are writing the value of i what which value will be get over here from here it will be print over here and at last we are returning the zero value so the output of this program will be 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 we have we are we are seeing that the output is starting from 1 because we have initialized the value of i is equal to 1 and this iteration will be go up to value 6 when i is until when the value of i is equal to 6 it will be go up to 6 times and each time it will also increment the value of i and the value of i will be print over here and the output will be look like this while loop the while loop in c is to be used in the condition where we don't know the number of iterations in advance the block of statements is executed in the while loop until the condition specified in the while loop is satisfied while loop allows a part of the code to be executed multiple times depending upon a given boolean condition 
and this is the syntax of while loop we are writing over here this is the syntax of while loop this is the keyword this is the name of the loop and this is the condition and this is the block of while loop when the condition will be match the code of the the code of the program will be executed the program of while loop is written over here in this program we are displaying the table of any number this is the program which is written into turbo c++ ide here you are seeing that we are using two header files stdio.h and conio.h main function we are using and here we are taking three variables and i is equal to 1 which is initializing and two variables also we are using num and b this is the function clear screen and in the printf function we are taking any number as an input from the user at run time and this is the block of the program here this is the function while we are using here this is the condition and this program will be go up to when i is less than or equal to 10 and this is the block of this while loop b is equal to num into i and printf we are printing the value of b because this operation is going here and the value is assigning to the b so the output will be in the b and we are printing we are displaying the value of b over here and at last we are incrementing the value i plus plus suppose i am entering any number 9 and i want to get the table of this 9 so num value will be equal to 9 so this while loop will be executed and as you seeing that here that i is equal to 1 so this condition will be true and when this condition will be true the control will come into this side of the block and here the function will be executed num num is equal to 9 which i have entered into the compile the command prompt and i is equal to 1 as we have initialized also here so the value will be equal to 9 into 1 is equal to b so 9 will be assigned to the b and will be displayed over here and the first output will be equal to 9 and after that i value will be incremented post incremented so the value of i will be now i plus plus so i will be equal to 2 again this block will be executed and will go up to this statement and now the condition will be again checked now i is equal to or less than 10 so i is equal to 2 now this condition is true and again multiplication will be over here num num is equal to 9 and i is equal to 2 multiplication of 9 into 2 is equal to 18 that will be assigned to the b and p will be written over here and will be displayed over here the value so the output of this will be written as 18 so by this way we can type or we can display any of table of any of number so this is the program of while loop in which we are displaying table of any number in this do while loop using do while loop we can repeat execution of several parts of the statements the do while loop is mainly used in the case where we need to execute the loop at least once time the do while loop is mostly used in menu driven programs where the termination condition depends upon the end user and this is the syntax of do while loop now the program of do while loop is equal to this is the main this is the main header file stdio.h main function written here integer i is equal to 1 we are taking the variable i and initializing by equal by giving the value 1 this is the functions body do while loop body firstly printf percentile d and i whatever the value of i is it will be displayed over here that will be equal to 1 and i plus plus the value of i will be incremented now the i value will be equal to 2 and again it will be come from the loop and the value of i will be check over here 2 is less than 10 the condition is true again it will go up to the do loop and the value value of i will be print over here the value is 2 so here we will display the value of i is equal to 
टू अगेन i इज प्लस प्लस ये सो हैपनिंग है तो वैल्यू ऑफ i प्लस प्लस एंड द इंक्रीमेंट वैल्यू ऑफ i वैल्यू विल बी इक्वल टू थ्री अगेन इट विल कम फ्रॉम द लूप एंड अगेन इट विल चेक ओवर हेयर नॉ थ्री इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू टेन द कंडीशन इज ट्रू अगेन विल गो टू द टू लूप एंड सो ऑन इट विल गो अप टू टेन वैल्यू एंड द टेन वैल्यूज विल बी रिटर्न ओवर हेयर and this is the execution of do while loop and the output of this program will be this one so these are the loops which we have discussed in today's class so in the last of this video i hope you have understand all the basic and important concept of c programming these all the concepts are very useful for any cs and it students so stay connected with us and keep watching our videos on angel stock show for educational technical and motivational videos thank you so much